Hakwa Revitalize Therapy Peer Reviews by Academicians Review Propose the concept of hot water as a therapeutic drink Hot water and hydrogen therapy video by Dr. Faris El Hajri Vicky Jackson, Los Angeles Alternative Medicine Examiner Vicky has certificate as a holistic health consultant, clinical nutrition counselor, and herbal medicine counselor. She sees great potential in Los Angeles for promotion of these fields. She is also a member of the Disha Health Society. Vicky can be reached at vljackson at hotmail.com. This video may seem complex for some viewers, does hold sound scientific ideas and is very informative. It is a fairly common occurrence for many elderly people to enjoy a glass of hot water. How often have those of us still not in that age group to quickly say, no, thank you, when offered such a refreshment? We all have wondered what our elders see in such a blunt and unpalatable beverage. Perhaps, according to Dr. Faris Al Hajri, they know something those of us with our energy drinks don't grasp yet. In his videos, books, and conferences, many of which can be found on YouTube, Dr. Al Hajri promotes the idea that hot water to consume rather than soak in is one of the best things you can do for your health. In a video promoted through the American Holistic Health Association recently to subscribers of the newsletter, Dr. Al Hajri, a citizen of Oman who has studied the effects of hydrogen as well as H2O on the human body, briefly explains his ideas. He maintains that this element is essential to development in the womb to begin with. From that point, he explains the important role it plays in our continued health, calling it the best of all antioxidants. Let's take a glance at this idea from other perspectives. First of all, for those who don't have any degrees in biology, chemistry and so on, it is a fact that when water is heated, the atoms within get excited and moved around a lot more. Same with any substance, right? More energy involved there, so you will get more benefit from nutrients in the water, primarily minerals. This explains the reasoning behind infusions releasing more healthy ingredients as in hot tea. When you drink a herbal remedy, a soak in cold water isn't going to do a lot for any substance you add to the water. The heat itself, as well as what you put into the water, is going to do good things for your body. Now, another look at the hydrogen as an ingredient in water. Remember, hydrogen bonded with oxygen equal water when it gets the heat treatment. It too will get all excited and eager to do great things to the person consuming it. As if it's saying, oh, wow, I'm all energized and ready to fight off all those free radicals down the hatch. Just as with most of us, being cold slows us down. A warm up let things flow. A simple explanation, but a lot easier perhaps to digest than the more technical explanation in the video. While the doctor who obtained his PhD in alternative medicine in India does not talk down to his viewers. It could be a bit of putting to those less familiar with chemistry, holistic medicine, or any sciences. Since a great deal of Americans have no background in such subjects,
Thanks to massive watering down of old curriculum for decades, it will be easier for many to grasp if explained in simpler terms. For those who do have some health and or science behind them, another good source to use in order to check out Dr. Al-Hajri's ideas is a study done by KGK Synergize Incorporation of London, Ontario, Canada. See http double dot double slash www dot ncbi dot nlm dot nih dot gov slash pmc slash articles slash pmc 2831093 slash for the entire article in this work effectiveness of hydrogen rich water on antioxidant status of subjects with the potential metabolic syndrome an open label pilot study conducted in 2010 by Atsunori Nakao, Yoshiha Toyoda, Prashi Sharma, Malkanti Evans, and Najra Gandhi. The same basic concept was demonstrated, albeit in a different way. The bottom line, subjects who consumed the hydrogen-enriched water over a period of time were found to have the HDL cholesterol, the good kind raised the LDL cholesterol the kind we don't want much of lowered and the metabolic syndrome problems alleviated the experiment in other words was successful in improving the health overall of the participants with less resistance to insulin they would have no doubt lowered their body weight and found their metabolism functioning better, indicative than of antioxidants at work. So the basic premise behind Dr. Al Hajri's video in this instance is sound. While this is not a guarantee that all one needs to do is imbibe a copious amount of hot water to keep healthy, it certainly is head above the often expensive, usually sweetened and uh, frankly downright crappy testing energy drinks which often contain dubious ingredients like caffeine that may give the user a zap yet don't do any good for the body. In other words, following Dr. Al Hajri's advice can do you no harm and a lot of good. For more information on Dr. Faris Al Hajri, see his webpage http double dot double slash www.farisalhajri.com slash about Faris Al Hajri slash profile dot ASPX. For more information on the American Holistic Health Association, see http double dot double slash ahha dot org slash